In today's digital age, our smartphones have become extensions of ourselves, holding our personal information, memories, and connections to the world. While these devices offer convenience and connectivity, they also present tempting targets for hackers seeking to exploit vulnerabilities. One such vulnerability lies in an often overlooked file format, the PDF. Hackers can use seemingly harmless PDF files to gain unauthorized access to Android devices, compromising our privacy and security. This essay delves into the world of PDF exploits, examining how these attacks are carried out and the potential consequences for unsuspecting users. We'll explore how hackers identify and leverage vulnerabilities within PDF readers, the techniques they employ to create malicious files, and the social engineering tactics used to trick victims into opening them. Furthermore, we'll discuss the ethical implications of such actions and provide practical steps to protect yourself from becoming a victim. By understanding the methods and motivations behind these attacks, we can better safeguard our digital lives. PDFs or portable document formats have become ubiquitous in our digital lives. From work documents and ebooks to invoices and contracts, PDFs offer a convenient way to share and view formatted documents across different devices and platforms. Their widespread use stems from their ability to preserve formatting and ensure that the recipient views the document as intended, regardless of their operating system or software. However, this versatility comes at a price. The complexity of the PDF format with its ability to embed various elements like images, scripts, and even executable code creates potential loopholes for hackers to exploit. These vulnerabilities can allow malicious actors to bypass security measures and gain unauthorized access to your device. The widespread use of PDFs combined with the often unaware nature of users regarding potential threats makes them an attractive target for hackers. By disguising malicious code within seemingly innocuous documents, attackers can trick users into unknowingly granting them access to their devices and sensitive information. This makes it crucial for us to understand the mechanics of PDF exploits and learn how to protect ourselves from these insidious attacks. At their core, PDF exploits target vulnerabilities within PDF reader applications. These vulnerabilities, often referred to as exploits or bugs, are flaws in the software code that hackers can manipulate to execute malicious actions. When a user opens a specially crafted PDF file, the exploit within it can trigger unintended behavior in the reader application, potentially granting the attacker control over the device. One common type of PDF exploit involves buffer overflow attacks. These attacks exploit vulnerabilities in how a program manages memory allocation. By sending more data than the allocated memory buffer can handle, hackers can overwrite adjacent memory locations, potentially injecting and executing malicious code. Another method involves exploiting vulnerabilities in how PDF readers handle embedded JavaScript code. JavaScript, a scripting language commonly used for interactive web elements, can also be embedded within PDFs to add dynamic features. However, poorly implemented JavaScript handling can create opportunities for hackers to inject malicious scripts that execute upon opening the PDF. These scripts can then be used to download and install further malware, steal sensitive information, or gain control of the device. Hackers utilize various methods to discover and develop exploits for use in PDF attacks. One approach involves actively searching for publicly disclosed vulnerabilities in popular PDF reader applications. Security researchers and ethical hackers often discover and report these vulnerabilities, prompting software developers to release patches and updates. However, hackers may attempt to exploit these vulnerabilities before patches are widely adopted. Another method involves utilizing readily available tools and frameworks designed for penetration testing and exploit development. One such tool is Metasploit, a popular open source framework that provides a vast collection of exploits, payloads, and tools for ethical hacking and security assessments. Hackers can leverage Metasploit to automate the process of identifying vulnerabilities, building exploits, and creating malicious PDFs. Once a vulnerability is identified, hackers can develop or obtain pre-built exploit code that targets that specific weakness. This code is then embedded within a PDF file, often disguised within seemingly innocuous elements like images or text format. The goal is to trick the PDF reader application into processing the malicious code 
ultimately granting the hacker unauthorized access to the device. Section 5. Weaponizing Words. Crafting the Malicious PDF. Creating a malicious PDF involves embedding the exploit code within the file structure in a way that triggers the vulnerability upon opening. Hackers can achieve this by embedding the exploit code within various elements of the PDF, such as JavaScript objects malicious JavaScript code when embedded within a PDF can execute automatically when the user opens the file. This allows attackers to bypass security measures and directly interact with the user's device. Embedded files. Hackers can embed other malicious files, such as executable programs or further exploit code within the PDF. When the user opens the PDF, these embedded files can be automatically launched, infecting the device with malware or escalating the attack. Forms and annotations, PDF forms and annotations intended for user interaction can be manipulated to hide malicious code. Hackers can exploit vulnerabilities in how these elements are handled, triggering the execution of malicious code when the user interacts with the form or annotation. The choice of technique depends on the specific vulnerability being exploited and the hacker's goals. Once the malicious PDF is created, it's ready to be delivered to the target. Hackers often rely on social engineering tactics to trick users into opening these malicious files. Section 6, The Bait, Social Engineering and Delivery. Social engineering plays a crucial role in the success of PDF-based attacks. Hackers employ various deceptive tactics to manipulate users into opening malicious PDF files, often by exploiting human psychology and trust. Some common social engineering techniques include phishing emails. Hackers often distribute malicious PDFs through phishing emails disguised as legitimate communications from trusted sources, such as banks, government agencies, or well-known companies. These emails typically create a sense of urgency or importance, urging the recipient to open the attached PDF for critical information or to avoid negative consequences. Malicious websites hackers may create malicious websites or compromise legitimate ones to host and distribute malicious PDFs. These websites often mimic trustworthy sources or offer enticing content, tricking users into downloading and opening infected files. Social media and messaging apps. Social media platforms and messaging applications provide fertile ground for spreading malicious PDFs. Hackers may share infected files through direct messages, posts, or links, often disguised as harmless content or urgent updates. By crafting compelling narratives and exploiting human vulnerabilities, hackers increase the likelihood of their victims falling prey to these attacks. Once the victim opens the malicious PDF, the embedded exploit code can trigger, potentially granting the hacker access to the device and its sensitive information. Section 7, The Trap Springs, Victim Opens the PDF. The moment a victim opens the malicious PDF, the embedded exploit code is activated, setting the attack in motion. The exploit code interacts with the PDF reader application, exploiting its vulnerabilities to bypass security measures and execute malicious actions. What happens next depends on the specific exploit and the attacker's goals. In some cases, the exploit might grant the attacker immediate control over the device, allowing them to install malware, steal data, or monitor the victim's activity. In other cases, the exploit might serve as a stepping stone for further attacks, establishing a foothold within the device that the attacker can leverage later to deploy additional malicious payloads or escalate their privileges. The victim might remain blissfully unaware of the compromise as the attack might unfold silently in the background. Alternatively, they might notice unusual behavior such as sluggish performance, increased battery drain, unusual network activity, or the appearance of unfamiliar apps. However, by then, the damage might already be done. Section 8. Access Granted, Taking Control of Your Device Once the exploit has successfully compromised the device, the attacker can leverage their newfound access to carry out a range of malicious activities. The specific actions they take depend on their motivations and the capabilities of the exploit. One common goal is data theft. Hackers can access sensitive information stored on the device, such as contacts, messages, photos, financial data, and login credentials. 
This information can then be exploited for financial gain, identity theft, blackmail, or other malicious purposes. Another goal is to gain complete control over the device. Hackers can install backdoors that grant them persistent access, allowing them to remotely monitor activity, steal data, or even use the device as part of a botnet to carry out further attacks. The compromised device can also be used to spread malware to other devices and networks, further amplifying the impact of the attack. The consequences of a successful PDF exploit can be devastating, leading to financial losses, identity theft, privacy violations, and reputational damage. Section 9, The Ethical Hacker, A Force for Good. While the potential for malicious use of PDF exploits is clear, it's important to remember that not all hackers operate with malicious intent. Ethical hackers, also known as white hat hackers, play a crucial role in cybersecurity by using their skills to identify and address vulnerabilities before they can be exploited by malicious actors. Ethical hackers employ the same tools and techniques as their malicious counterparts, but operate within legal and ethical boundaries. They conduct security assessments, penetration testing, and vulnerability research to identify weaknesses in systems and applications, including PDF readers. When they discover a vulnerability, ethical hackers responsibly disclose their findings to the affected software developers, providing them with the opportunity to patch the vulnerability before it can be exploited. They also often develop and share proof-of-concept exploit code and tools to help raise awareness and facilitate the development of effective security measures. The work of ethical hackers is essential in making digital systems more secure for everyone. By proactively identifying and addressing vulnerabilities, they help mitigate the risks posed by malicious actors and contribute to a safer digital environment. Section 10, Staying Safe, Protecting Yourself from PDF Exploits. Protecting yourself from PDF exploits requires a multifaceted approach that combines vigilance, awareness, and proactive security measures. By adopting the following practices, you can significantly reduce your risk of falling victim to these attacks. Keep your software updated. Regularly update your operating system, PDF reader application, and other software to ensure you have the latest security patches installed. Software updates often include fixes for newly discovered vulnerabilities, making it crucial to install them promptly. Be wary of suspicious emails and links. Exercise caution when opening emails from unknown senders or clicking links from untrusted sources. Pay close attention to the sender's address, look for signs of phishing, and avoid opening attachments or clicking links unless you are confident of their legitimacy. Download PDFs from trusted sources. Only download PDF files from reputable websites and sources. If you're unsure about the legitimacy of a website or link, err on the side of caution and avoid downloading files from it. Use a reputable antivirus and anti-malware software install and keep updated a reputable antivirus and anti-malware program on your device. These programs can help detect and block known malicious files, including those embedded within PDFs. Be cautious when enabling macros or JavaScript. Avoid enabling macros or JavaScript within PDF files unless you are confident of their source and purpose. Malicious actors often use these features to execute malicious code. Consider using a sandboxed environment. If you frequently handle PDFs from unknown or untrusted sources, consider opening them within a sandboxed environment. Sandboxing creates an isolated environment within your device, preventing malicious code from accessing your system or data if the PDF is compromised. Educate yourself and others. Stay informed about the latest security threats and best practices for safe computing. Share your knowledge with friends, family, and colleagues to help create a more secure digital environment for everyone. Section 11, Conclusion, Navigating the Digital Landscape Safely. As we increasingly rely on digital devices and the internet for communication, work, and leisure, it's imperative to remain vigilant about potential security threats. PDF exploits, while often overlooked, represent a significant threat to our privacy and security. By understanding the mechanisms of these attacks, the motivations behind them, and the steps we can take to protect ourselves, we can navigate the digital landscape more safely. Remember that vigilance, awareness, and proactive security measures are crucial in mitigating the risk posed by PDF exploits and other cyber threats. By staying informed, practicing safe computing habits, and promoting a culture of cybersecurity awareness, 
we can create a safer and more secure digital environment for ourselves and others.